I'm out at the grill today and we are going to be stoking it up to roast off some wonderful chilies. Look at these. Oh my god. I've got poblanos and anaheims right on the grill as soon as we get it heated up. All right, I'm going to let the grill warm up. I'll be right back. All right, the grill's at almost 500 degrees. Ooh, that's hot. burn on there now baby all right then these chilies are just about ready to go in we're gonna let them sweat for about 20 minutes and then they're gonna get peeled and stuffed it's been about 20 minutes and we've got the chilies right here, all nice and sweated. And I'm going to start peeling them. See how they're nice and wrinkled there? That's how you know they're going to come off nice and even. Open a slit. Like that. Take out the seeds. Right in the pocket right there. Open it up like that. Hottest part of the chili right there. The nice thing about the Anaheims, seeds like to hang out at the top right there. You can pull out the core just like that. Clean out those seeds. Make sure you get them all. You can rinse the chilies. Some people say don't do that because you lose the flavor of the of the roast. It's up to you. Rinse, don't rinse. I'm probably gonna rinse these. All right, the chilies are all rinsed out. Make sure you pat them dry. I'm gonna let them get good and dry before you stuff them. Once you have all the seeds out. You can get the veins out. It's my quinoa. Uh, peppers, onions, carrots, chilies, coconut milk, green tomatillo sauce. Spoon that in there. Just like that. Roll them up, just like that. Right. Sometimes you get a little too much in there. Sew them up just like that. We're going to cook those in an oven at 350 degrees for about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. I think it'd be awesome. Stuffed poblano and Anaheim chilies with quinoa.